because normally I would say dinner is done, but it's the next day, everyone, because I haven't recorded anything today. I've been asleep and then started up on dinner, did what I needed to do for the afternoon. Uh, but yes, everyone, uh, we're actually having problems with this uh, Westinghouse thing that we actually just got last week. I don't even know how long ago it was. But yeah, we're just having problems with it at the moment. It's not operating. It wasn't operating as well as it was prior. So I don't know what's going on. This thing. I don't know what the story is. <laughs> Zero. Yes, but it's not, but it wasn't working as well as it used to. Not working. It's not getting cold. Well, there's these people and their false advertising. I think they probably should have taken the, uh, that little mini fridge to the dump. If it's not cool, if it's not keeping things cold, then it should probably be in the dump. When it's one of two things, it's either dropped its gas or the thermostat completed for good. And what he means by thermostat is really means that if the thermostat is broken. That's what he means. So yes, everyone. It's Unfortunately, I think this thing might be done for. Oh well. And of course it's a weekend, so I can't ask anybody out here to fix it. As always, uh, <clears throat> actually, no, it's, it's Friday today, so it's the weekend coming, so you're not going to have a freezer for at least until at least Monday. That's going to be a bit shocking, and I know that many of you on there are going to say, oh, 
Well, why, why would you live on the island if, if you can't get things fixed immediately? Well, Sargadad chose to live here. He chose to choose an island, alright? It was a bit of a compromise between us both. I get to see Brisbane, but he has to live on, but he decides to live on the island. Find a low, low density populated uh, place on the, uh, um, the island, like a low, like a low dense populated island. I chose the highest one out of the four. <laughs> but it's still a very low population compared to the, compared to the over two million people living in Brisbane. It's just a fraction of a fraction now. There's like 0.01% population living here at this island. So cloud to property tree. So they're transitioning to new property management software. What's this? What's what? Oh, that's just the dates that that. That the email has been um, put into your inbox. All right, Islanders. I think that's enough. I think I've done enough. <laughs> so, yeah, so I'm very sorry that you Islanders didn't get to see anything earlier on. Been asleep. But hey, I'll catch up with all of you Islanders later after dinner's done. See ya. All right, the Islanders. Dinner's done. And, oh, look who I found out here. Okay. Anyways. Uh, so I don't know what's going on with them. But yeah, it was, we've still got problems with this Westinghouse freezer right here. So he's going to be calling up the, uh, the refrigeration technician tomorrow morning to find out what can be done about it. So he's going into his um, room now. And I think we'll show you one that's outside here, even though we can't really show much because of the fact that it's dark time, it's night time. Uh, but I'll just show you all outside anyway. And it has been raining as well today, and it's going to continue on tomorrow. Sunday, will, uh, sun will be back out, but on Monday it's going to continue on raining uh, uh, again, and it's going to continue on for the next few days after that. So the reality is it's going to be very wet this month. Just like it has been this year. This year entirely has been very, very wet. We've had a lot of rain this year. In fact, I think I think the record rainfall that we've had this year is actually surpassing the total record of rainfall that we've had in 2017. So, because as you Islanders know, because when you when you When you live south of uh, like the tropics, you do get much more rain for your area. And if you live anywhere, and if you live anywhere, pretty much that south of like Victoria or something. So if you li if you live in a place like northern Canada or Alaska. Um, then chances are that it's going to be snowing at the northern tips near the Arctic Circle and that. So yeah, so I think it's time to end off the episode now. We are out of time. Well, at least you got to see <coughs> the uh, freezer. That's 
obviously not working. I'm going to test it myself as well. So, thanks for watching this episode of Island Life. Leave a like, follow, and I will catch up with all of you Islanders in the next episode. So, bye, see you then.